So um, I got out of the Burmese market. Um, today's review is this Honeydew Bubble Tea. I've never had bubble tea before. It's got top, uh, tapioca pearls or tapioca pearls, however you wish to say it. 16.6 um, .6 fluid ounces, 490 milliliters. Mm, that's a bit different. Uh, it's honeydew flavored. Never had bubble tea before. Um, but, I mean, uh, it's honeydew flavor, which I like sweet stuff, so I'll try that. Um, he had, they have five flavors, uh, so let's try this one first. I'm going to do all five, depending on how well I like this. I'm going to do um, all five eventually. So, uh... Let's look at that real quick. It, it does say serve sort of chilled and shake well before drinking, which that seems interesting. You don't usually shake drinks in the U.S. Um, let's look at stuff in here for, um, well, allergens. We always cover allergens here. Um, I try to always remember to cover allergens. Uh, let's, you know, sugar, starch, of course, it's a drink. Uh, can't, it's not kind of a sweet drink um milk powder not under a creamer but it's got milk um hydrogenated vegetable fat so it's got trans fat uh well it's got that so i guess i only have it so often um that's the thing with a lot of foods that are bad for you if you have them every so often it's not going to be a, a if you have them sparingly it's not going to be an issue um something I have to learn too is that usually even foods most foods that are bad for you if you have them within reason you'll be okay um, uh, so. uh -huh. potassium phosphate uh -huh. Uh -huh. apple juice is an apple Honeydew juice, green tea powder. So milk, green tea, honeydew, apple. Uh, looks like hydrogenated vegetable fat and dairy. Uh, silicon dioxide. So uh, those are what looks like to be the most likely um, allergens for me. Uh, that I can think of, but I mean, honestly, I'm not a dietitian. I don't know what's going to be the most common. You know, it's going to be the most common allergen, but I try to be as uh, as likely as I can. But I think it'd be good. Um, let's see now. Um, so yeah, one portion here. So look at the effects. One interesting thing is there's more potassium than sodium, which you usually don't get in canned beverages. And potassium actually flushes out sodium. But remember, it does have that little bit of trans fat, so you still can't drink a lot of these. It doesn't need, it has less than one gram, but it's still got that little tiny bit. So uh, be careful with these. You can't have them, can't have them very often. Um, it has 42 grams of sugars, uh, 3 grams, are all, it only has 3 added grams. So, the added 3 grams, but there's 42 total, so that's a lot of sugar. Uh, so, uh, this, I'm going to have to be very careful with how much I drink. You know, reading these nutrition labels actually are going to help me remember just what I'm eating. So, that's a big thing, I guess, is one of the first things you can do when, you lose, when you're trying to lose weight is just start reading your... Um, nutritionally able to figure out if something's really appetizing so we'll try this and like I said it depends how often you're gonna actually you know eat it because usually most foods even if they're bad for you eat them rarely or even within reason can be okay for you each person's different so let's try this Actually, you know, I forgot to shake it, so put my hand over there. I can't have this too often because I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm going to have to uh, probably only have one of these a week. Hmm. 
yeah, it should get to taste a lot better. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to remember to shake it from now on. But you can definitely taste the dairy in there. Um, it's got the milk and the non-dairy creamer, so it's smooth. I said there were tapioca pearls. Didn't really run into those yet. So that's right. Hmm. As I drink it, the more it grows on me. But like I said, I can only have it so much because I'm lactose intolerant. Uh, thankfully, it's mild, so and I'm not going to have any serious problems um, if I have milk. I'm lucky. I'm lucky with that. So try again. <clears throat> yeah. It grows on you the more you drink it. Um, I'm probably only going to be able to have one of these a uh, week because of how much milk's in them. But uh, part of the taste could also be the non-dairy creamer, which it does say is in there. But I can probably only have like one of them a week. But that's that. Um, that's that bo bubble tea. Which... I don't really see the pearls, which is strange. Anyway, uh, maybe they're in the bottom. They'll come up eventually. But anyway, uh, that's the honeydew tea. I think it's a niche, whether or not you like it. Um, I think it's a select variety. It's like, hmm. I think it's kind of like one of those sayings where it's like, you either love it or you hate it. There's not much of a middle ground, you know. I can really see it where some people hate it. Some people will love it. And the people who are in between are not going to be... They're going to be big. I mean, I like it, but... After this, I'm probably going to be okay with eating it, drinking it once a week. Because um, it's not really, you know, my favorite. But... Yeah, um, you can try it. I guess, like I'm saying, I can try it. You can try it. Um, try just a sip. If you're not like lactose intolerant and stuff. Actually, I'm going to check for soy real quick. I can't remember if there was any soy. Um, was there soy? I don't think so. So, that's good. Uh, but, yeah. All in all... I can only have it once a week or so, but I can really see it where you either love it or you hate it. But that's what I think of this uh, bubble tea. I got high two flavor. Next week, I'll do another flavor. Uh, I don't know which one, but he's got five flavors. So anyway, that's that. Um, he's got some stuff I'm going to try tomorrow. I think I know what I'm going to try exactly. Um, I think I know what I'm going to try. But anyway, that's that. And I'll let you go for this. And peace out.